Okay. All right, fine. You guys want this? How long are these videos? All right, what do we what do we want to see here? All right, let's do it. Muppet Babies. We're this is that. Jonas J. Campbell from That Park Place, and this is everything woke about Muppet Babies, the GLAD-nominated Disney Junior reboot aimed at children ages 2 to 5 years old. Season 3, Episode 14A, Gonzarella. We're making invitations for the party we're throwing later today. The blonde-haired, blue-eyed Karen is throwing a party. Nothing could go wrong. Like the one in Cinderella? As Dis This is an adult man? Is this what this guy- hold on, I'm sorry. Is this what this guy actually this looks like? This is Jonas J. Cam no, that's fucking... This is a rant Sona using, oh, using e Ewan McGregor's face. That's Ewan McGregor's face photoshopped onto a rant Sona. So this guy... Oh, God. But presumably, based on the voice, this is an adult. Obi-Wan... Oh, God. can't okay just let's just keep that in mind uh an adult man is doing a cinema sins woke reaction to a disney babies show all right let's your imagery to introduce an unfamiliar concept the fairy godmother gave cinderella a real fancy dress and mansion glass slippers glass slippers Ha-cha! feminization of a masculine character we had a load of that Gonzo isn't a masculine character. Like, Gonzo is a Muppet. A dress! I'd love to wear a dress like that to your royal ball! Encouraging male characters to wear feminine clothes in a show aimed at two-year-olds. Gonzo! H who cares? Who fucking cares? It was less than a hundred years ago that that dresses were the common apparel of all children like who cares what you guys I, I i i swear to god i'm gonna kill everyone by how much i've been saying this but these people are insufferable conservatives are genuinely insufferable they're like a dress i can't believe it it's the most pathetic pearl clutching no one gives a shit and yet, here these people are, fucking freaking out, having a complete and utter meltdown because of a character wants to wear a dress. Piggy and I are the princesses. We wear the dresses. That's right. Depiction of gender norms as a negative. According to the Royal Handbook, the girls come as princesses and the boys come as knights. Oh. <laughs> so, I don't know if people know this, but... Children's shows, one of the things that children's shows are supposed to do is to help children navigate social situations that they may not be familiar with. That is like something that basically every single show on the planet, every single kid show on the planet, it's like part of what they're supposed to do. Here is, oh, Tommy won't share his toy with me. How do we solve this problem? Let's go though, let's go. Right. Gender norms are depicted as arbitrary and hurtful to this small child. Huzzah! Huzzah. Gonzo is accidentally excluded okay, from- Okay, but that's a factual truth. Like, it doesn't matter if conservatives don't like it. It is a factual truth that there are many people who find gender norms to be hurtful. This isn't even good if you like put on the if you put on like the Christian conservative hat. This isn't even a good critique, because even if you put on your Christian conservative hat, it looks like a little like crappy Pope hat, like a Burger King crown but with the Pope hat. Um, you would do what Veggie Tales does, which like Veggie Tales is the like Christian equivalent of this, which would basically. Uh, have some sort of lesson that treats the kid as valid in their feelings and tries to teach them a healthy way to deal with it or whatever. Uh, but of course, they can't do that because, uh, I don't know. Uh, apparently, you just need to just hate. The, see, the answer that these people have is just prejudice. That's it. The only answer they have is just hate trans people. It's dumb. It's not even, this isn't even a good critique within the Christian framework.
the group because he is discouraged from wearing a sparkly evening gown. Hey, Gonzo. You okay? Not exactly. I really wish I could wear one of those princess dresses to the ball. A male preschooler is deeply sad because his friends won't accept him wearing the clothing of another gender. Well, I hate... Y yeah. Wow. That's never happened before, right? He doesn't even know the Gonzo lore? Yeah, yeah, like, literally. Yeah. Women, men, whatever. To see a good pal feeling bad. So tell you what, I am gonna grant your wish. LGBT allyship in a show for preschoolers. Because I... And? So what? Depicting someone being nice? Wow, ding! You should, you should, you should be mean to your, to your toddlers, frat. You should be, you should criticize and, and ostracize people who want to dress differently than you. That's the argument these fucking idiots are making. I am your very rat father. Feminization of a male cartoon character. How was that feminization? F my, your very, very rat, rat father. That's not even feminization! Oh my god! Ow! The sparkles! Go! Oh Jesus, these people are so weak willed and weak minded. They have no spines, they have no brains. Holy. Mother. Feminization of a male cartoon character. But the girl said I'm not supposed to wear a dress. I don't want everyone to be upset with me. Implication to preschoolers that people who don't accept gender fluidity are mad. Question. Do we think that this guy is mad? Because I'm not going to lie. It sounds like you might be a little mad. It just... It's come, I'm getting a little bit of a vibe that you might be a little mad about this, especially given that you have a rant Sona and a channel where you just ding at things for having woke in it. And so far, literally every single line in the episode has, has been, has been woke, too woke for you. You just, you just come off as a little fucking mad. Drag Queen Gonzo. Have you ever seen such a splendorific dress? And get a load of my glass sneakers. Sneakers? I guess they decided he wasn't feminine enough for heels. That's the. I don't know what to tell you guys. The logic is, uh. The logic is pretzely. We'll call it that. Seems a bit transphobic to me. Thank you, fairy rat father. This makes me so happy. Happiness comes from dressing as the opposite gender in a show aimed at preschoolers. No, no, hold on. I understand that, that you're having trouble understanding the show aimed at preschoolers, indicating your level of, you know, of cognition. But um, actually it's just that it makes Gonzo happy to be able to dress in whatever Gonzo pleases. Let's continue. Let's continue and see how uh, baffled by this children's show this grown man is. The Royal Handbook says there's only one way to greet a prince. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, if this was truly based and Christian pilled, uh, uh, they would have gotten really mad at the, uh, at the like leaning on fairy magic. But see, that's not in vogue anymore. Now what's in vogue is hating trans people. So um, in the past, if this had come out in say like the early 2000s, it would have been like, <laughs> using art, using, using dark magic to make your wishes come true. That's not very godlike. <laughs> Vu must bow, and then we will curtsy. Uh, okay. Uh, the rule book that's a stand-in for gender norms is arbitrary and capricious. Imagine that. that. Hello, y Im Yeah, imagine that. Yes, imagine that. <laughs> Snack Freak, thank you very much for the incredibly generous tier one sub. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Imagine that. Everyone, Ooh, huh? uh, 
Uh, look, it's... it's... a mysterious new princess! Gender-bending character is special, novel, and the center of everyone's positive attention. I'm Princess Summer. What's your... Your name? Uh, uh, how can you get mad at that? They don't recognize Gonzo. So they're excited there's a new princess that they don't recognize. What? Uh, you can call me Gonzarella. Preferential naming to accommodate gender fluidity in a preschool <laughs> show. Oh, come on! What? Come the fuck on! Come the fuck on! We're happy to have you, Gonzarella. And your dress <laughs> is simply fabulous. Gonzo is welcomed with open arms when masquerading as the person he wants to be. Let's all greet each other with a princess curtsy. Sure. <laughs> Literally, it's been every single episode, every single line so far has made them mad. Wow. As long as you're breaking one norm, might as well break more. Am I right? I've never seen a curtsy quite like that before. It was very different. The blonde-haired, blue-eyed stock villain character is made to look resistant to breaking norms. Um, Gonzarella. V villain? Who's the villain? It's a children's show! What villain? Are those eggs? <laughs> are you saying? Or is this guy seriously trying to say that... <laughs> is this guy trying to say that the creators of the Muppets intentionally made Miss Piggy a character who was invented in, like, what, the fucking 60s? That they made Miss Piggy uh, uh, blonde-haired and blue-eyed because that's, like, anti-woke? <laughs> what? What? What is going on? This is deranged. The feathers? The crowns in the princess handbook only have a sparkly diamond. This rule book sure is restrictive and for no reason at all. Imagine that. Yeah. yeah, imagine that, dude. Yeah, imagine that. Almost like the ridiculous other rules that we put on society. You have, this guy doesn't even have a response just except for, yeah, imagine my shock. I guess I made mine a little different, but... Sorry, 1976. I was almost right. And uh, it's also pretty splendorific, don't you think? Yeah! What do you think that egg crown is going to smell like in about a week? Well, yours can be different, too. Oh, you got him! You got him! You owned the kids' show, dude! Bro, you got him! Bazinga! You got the toddlers, bro! Wanna try? Ooh, yes! Yeah, let's do it. yes! Come on. This group of preschoolers embrace breaking the arbitrary rulebook that's the stand in for gender norms. Gonzarella was right. Okay, okay, real talk for just a second, no goofing, okay? Just, just, just a real quick, uh, the, the message of be yourself and it's okay to be yourself is like, literally one of the most common messages that has been in any children's media basically forever. Like, uh, it, you know, you don't have to conform, you can be yourself. That's like the plot of like 90% of children's media. It's in every kid's show ever. But to be fair to the conservatives, they've been getting triggered about it forever as well because they think that it's like anti-parenting that if you say, hey, you don't have to give in to peer pressure, you can be who you want to be, uh, then they believe, they go, are you saying for children to disobey their parents? No! Parents are supposed to have honor and complete control over their children's behavior. God told me that I can control my child and make my child do whatever I want. It's my God-given right to make my child do whatever I want. You guys remember Matt Walsh's insane rant about how he violates his children's consent all the time? Yeah, really... It seems like there's a through line in the conservative movement about loving to hurt children. I've got, let me tell you something. I violate my kids' consent all the time. Your crowns all look magnifique. Even the stock villain is starting to see the light. As you can see in the- Miss Piggy is one of the most beloved characters in like the history of, 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 of media. Miss Piggy is like, like, unironically so popular like the mer the miss piggy merchandising it has been around since 
apparently it was 1976 when when Miss Piggy was first debuted as a character. And since then, you can walk to any Walmart in America and you will find Miss Piggy merchandise to this day. There's no no stock villain crap here. You just come across as a deranged person. Anybody who watches this, who, has, who hasn't lived on like a Mennonite uh, colony for the last, you know, 40 years is gonna make you, is gonna just be like, what are you talking about, bro? Stock villain? Miss Piggy is like a beloved character. What are you, oh my God. Handbook, the dancers stand in a ring, greet each other and circle to the right. Then they greet each other again and circle back to the left. The Arbitrary Gender Norms Handbook is confusing to small children. Be a shame. It would be a shame if in America right now there was a, 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 a norm of, of fathers bullying their sons for crying at a young age. Wouldn't that be shocking? Wouldn't it be shocking if there was, it was a norm in America to, uh, to uh, bully young children, uh, young girls for being too tomboyish? Wouldn't that be a shock if that was the norm in America? Imagine that. But this is how they've danced at Royal Ball since super duper olden times. We can't just change it. The implication that all rules are arbitrary. Wait, this episode is based. This episode is just blowing this this soy boy out. He has no argument. He's just getting mad. In a show aimed at preschoolers. I no kind of thought the royal dance would be more fun. Oh no, Princess Piggy. Our royal ball is turning into a royal snooze. Gender norms are boring. I know how to spice this party up with the Cluckatonian Promenade. Incorporation of drag queen innovation in a show aimed at preschoolers. I don't... Yeah, cool. It turns out... All this stuff is boring, and the only queer person in the room is the only one making them have any fun. Damn, wouldn't that be a shame if that was a reflection, a direct reflection of reality? <laughs> true! It is true. You heteros have no sense of fun until the gays come around and fix things up for you. It's okay. You're welcome. We love you. All right? We love you. See anything about a promenade in the dances here? We can't possibly do. <laughs> the party will be ruined unless the arbitrary rule book of civilization is thrown away. <laughs> the, wait, the arbitrary rule book of civilization? Well, okay, hold on. A little bit of projection going on there. Hold on a here, second. We can't possibly do. <laughs> The party will be ruined unless the arbitrary rule book of civilization is thrown yeah, away. Yep, you didn't, you, yep, we didn't hear that wrong. <laughs> oh, no, the toddlers, they're overthrowing Western civilization. <laughs> My Western civilization, Nobody no! had any fun before they threw out all the rules. Who made our royal dance a hit? This preschool party is made better through the incorporation of drag. Moldy guacamole, I forgot. If my dress disappears, they'll know it's me. I gotta get out of here. Fear of being outed as a plot point in a show aimed at preschoolers. Aren't you glad? Gee, I wonder why they might have this plot pl point in a show for preschoolers. Could it perhaps be that parents are really horrible to their kids who happen to be gender non-conforming or gay or queer of any stripe really? Could it be that perhaps it's a traumatic issue for kids and this show is trying to make life better for kids? Wow! <gasps> wow! <gasps> you made it out in time? No. I didn't want to leave the royal ball. And everyone would have been upset if they knew it was me wearing that princess dress. Implication that people who oppose drag are angry and therefore hateful. Gun so, are you sure about that? Because it seems to me, maybe they just would have been surprised that you wanted to wear a princess dress. It's different from what they're used to, you know? Gender fluidity... Wait, also, that directly, co that directly conflicts... That, that directly conflicts with what the guy said. Actually, the message of the show is that no, actually most people won't care. They might just be a little surprised and confused. The, the rat godfather, rat father, the fairy rat father 
is being like, no, actually most people aren't deranged freaks like the person who was reacting to this woke Muppet Babies shit. Is depicted as just different than what they're used to. But trying something different can be fun. Exactly. And at the Royal Bowl, you help them see that, right? A beloved staple of the Muppets helps preschool children see that gender fluidity is fun. Ding! Ding! They gave the rat a Brooklyn accent! What's up with that? He's trying to be a rat over here! Why has he got a Brooklyn accent? Why do I gotta force all this woke shit on us? Fun if they Ding. would just try it out. Maybe if they're okay with those things being different, they'd be okay with me wearing a princess dress too? Contemplation of societal acceptance of gender nonconformity in a show aimed at preschoolers. Pancho! I think now's your chance to find out. This magically themed gender bending rat encourages a preschool boy to voice his desire to break from gender conformity to his friends instead of his family. Huh? Huh? Where, was Gonzo's family a part of this? I don't know that they have family in this world, like, meaningfully. Instead of, what did they talk, what? The most amazing princess, but they ran away. Everyone in this preschool show thinks that the drag queen is amazing. There's something I need to tell you. The princess who came to your ball tonight was me. I'm Gonzarella. <gasps> Everyone is so happy and not a parental figure in sight. Imagine that. Bro. That. Because you all expected me to look a certain way. I don't want you to be upset with me, but I don't want to do things just because that's the way they've always been done either. Oh wow, I guess the scriptwriters didn't have enough time to go over the plus sides of gender conformity in society. Maybe. Maybe that's because the episode is about the downsides. Maybe that's because they presented an incredibly realistic scenario in which people are bullied out of genuine expression of themselves for no reason, literally no reason at all. Kind of like you're doing right now, actually. Kind of like how you're getting super triggered about a single episode of a kid's show that say, actually, uh, it's okay if you want to wear a dress. There's nothing wrong with wearing a pretty dress, actually. It's just a piece of clothing. There is literally nothing wrong with it. And you're having a meltdown. Hmm. They didn't have enough time in the episode. I want to be me. The implication that gender norms stop preschool children from being their true selves. We're so... I wonder what this guy's answer would be. What happens if a preschool kid wants to wear a dress? What if a preschool boy wants to wear a dress? I wonder what his answer would be. Would it be screeching? Would it be to screech and then have a meltdown and leave the family party and then cry for six months and then blow up all of his Mr. Potato Heads, M&Ms, Nike shoes, General Mills, uh, cat boxes, and Bud Light? Probably. Sorry, it wasn't very nice of us to tell you what to wear to our ball. Dress codes are a tool of the oppressors against the proletariat, kids. You're our friend. Good one, I guess. Friend, and we love you any way you are. If a friend that is- seemed, That seemed like a bit of a, that seemed like a bit of a, a flip. That seemed like you went like a little far there, my man, but all right. Is driving towards a cliff, is it loving to tell them that they're making a good decision? I say- driving towards the cliff of wearing a dress. These people are insane. They're just insane. He's, your friend is driving towards the cliff of putting on a really pretty dress. Do you know what happens? You could never come back from that. Once you put on the dress, you can't go back. Do you think this guy has experience with that? We get rid of this old royal handbook and make a better one. Implication that Western civilization is arbitrary because a preschool <laughs> child doesn't get to drink. No! You've got to be kidding me! Dress like RuPaul. And in our new handbook, everyone can come to the ball dressed however they like. I don't think they've thought oh that one God. all the way through. And they all live happily ever after. Bibbidi bobbidi boo ba and now the show ends with everyone approving of the preschool drag queen. The male characters dress in pink and the girl characters dress as knights. Let's hope there's- Cool. 
Wait, Blue that's red. cool. Yeah. Look, at, look at Miss Piggy's Miss Piggy's out in the sink. And now, Miss Piggy. Now the show ends with everyone approving of the preschool drag queen. The male character. Wait, uh, get your text off the screen, you asshole. Look at this. Miss Piggy has a sick outfit. Look at that. Wow. And look, the Night Helm. This is like some Dark Souls outfits. These are some, these are some fits. Yeah, Kermit's got a fancy hat and everything. Look at him, he's all, he's got pink. Wow, shocking, pink. This is literally a, unironically, this outfit right here looks identical to a, uh, a Sailor Moon outfit. A Sailor Moon, which I presume conservatives would say is a show for girls. Pink and the girl characters dress as knights. Let's hope there's not a neighboring kingdom looking for a sign of weakness. Don't forget to like. <laughs> wait, wait, what? what? That's the conclusion of this video? Oh my dear God. That's insane. Oh God, these people are so broken. <laughs> Let's hope there's not a neighboring kingdom in the preschool show that's looking for a sign of weakness so they can be conquered. And that sign of weakness is that they're knights. They have female and male knights. Oh, damn, this is bad. Ooh, that was a, that was a, oh boy, that was a rotten one. That was a big old rotten egg.